When can you drink coffee and when should you refrain from consuming it? Watch the video to the end to learn how to drink coffee correctly without harming your health. Many people are accustomed to drinking coffee, not only in the morning hours but also in the second half of the day and even in the evening, often without much consideration. What happens to our body when we consume our favorite beverage? How does coffee affect blood vessels? The widely held belief is that coffee has the property of dilating blood vessels. It's important to consider that this assertion is controversial. Caffeine present in coffee dilates vessels in skeletal muscles as well as in the heart and kidneys. This leads to increased heart rate, heightened kidney activity, and improved cognitive ability. This is why we feel alert and less drowsy. Concurrently, caffeine narrows abdominal blood vessels. Due to this balanced effect, there is no sharp increase in blood pressure. However, it's worth noting that caffeine, like other biologically active substances, can have both positive and negative effects on the body. Among its positive properties are alleviating headaches, as a strong cup of coffee can help with migraines, enhancing productivity and concentration, stimulating digestion by increasing stomach acid production, stabilizing blood pressure, which can benefit those with hypotension. Moreover, coffee has a diuretic effect when consumed within reasonable limits. Negative properties of the beverage become evident fairly quickly. They manifest as follows. The caffeine effect merely aids the body in utilizing its resources for energy, which can lead to depletion with frequent consumption. Stimulating stomach acid production can be harmful for individuals with digestive system conditions such as gastritis, ulcers, and cholecystitis. People with hypertension should also limit consumption of high-caffeine beverages, as they might cause a rise in arterial pressure. The active compound caffeine leads to addiction and dependence, and it also damages blood vessel walls in cases of varicose veins. When is coffee beneficial for health? One cup of coffee a day won't harm anyone. However, in the case of persistent hypotension where blood pressure is consistently low, it's acceptable to drink two, three cups of coffee per day. The same amount is permissible for individuals with bradycardia, a slow pulse accompanied by fatigue and weakness. Coffee can also alleviate migraine attacks by improving blood flow in the brain's vessels and helping alleviate headaches. The appearance of under-eye bags or swollen hands and feet can be an indication to have an extra cup of coffee, as coffee stimulates kidney blood vessels and has a diuretic effect, aiding in expelling excess fluid from the body. Strong menstrual pain or pronounced premenstrual syndrome can be significantly relieved or completely eliminated through coffee consumption. When should you refrain from coffee consumption? Avoid drinking coffee in the following cases. When high blood pressure occurs frequently, with blood pressure readings exceeding 150 over 90 mHg. Cases of altered blood flow in the brain or heart, circulatory encephalopathy, angina, severe arrhythmia, tachycardia, or extrasystoles, after head injuries, concussions, or brain contusions. In cases of elevated intraocular pressure, glaucoma, intracranial pressure. If there are ureasms or dilated segments in the brain vessels, if veins in the lower extremities are dilated, or if there are areas of thrombosis, in these situations, use coffee cautiously and consider replacing it with other beverages that have a less active impact on the body. How to consume coffee properly to enjoy it without harming your health? Follow a few rules. Consume coffee in its natural form. Adding sugar reduces its beneficial qualities. If you don't prefer a sweet beverage, opt for a natural sugar substitute like stevia for better health. Drink filtered coffee. Otherwise, there's an increased risk of atherosclerosis and myocardial infarction. Avoid mixing coffee with fatty foods to prevent raising cholesterol levels and provoking cardiovascular diseases. It's best to drink coffee in the first half of the day. Natural coffee is a natural stimulant for all life systems. It helps combat fatigue, boosts alertness, and physical activity. However, if consumed less than 2-4 hours before sleep, it can disrupt sleep patterns. Pay special attention to quality. It's better to choose natural whole bean coffee. Adhere to the recommended limit, as mentioned earlier, of 4 cups per day. This is a critical threshold not to exceed. Adding cinnamon to your coffee can bring benefits. Cinnamon enhances the effects of caffeine and offers various health advantages. Bactericidal effects, particularly useful in colder months, freshens breath, normalizes digestion in case of digestive issues, eases spasms, helps lower blood sugar, 
and positively influences metabolic processes and weight normalization. Refrain from coffee consumption when taking certain medications. Not all medications are compatible with caffeine. Antibiotics combined with caffeine can reduce the effectiveness of treatment as caffeine accelerates drug elimination. Hormonal medications lose effectiveness when combined with caffeine, and the laxative effect of caffeine can interfere with morning doses of such drugs. Sedative medications poorly mix with caffeine, burdening the nervous system further. Simultaneous intake of analgesics with caffeine is also undesirable due to potential liver risks. If a medication regulates blood pressure, coffee intake might weaken its effects, leading to dangerous blood pressure elevation or hypertensive crisis. It's advisable to avoid coffee with these medications or maintain a several-hour interval between their consumption. Friends, share in the comments. Do you drink coffee and how many cups per day do you enjoy your favorite beverage? If you liked the video, share it with your friends. This was the Health in Your Hands channel.